Hello, and welcome to South Coast Focus, Saddleback College's one and only television station. I'm Anya Lee. Now, with the war going on over in Afghanistan, Americans are putting their lives on the line for our country every day. You have to wonder, is anyone looking out for them? Today, our guest is an agent from the U.S. Department of Defense, Office of Inspector General. Maybe he can give us some insight into what he does for our country and those who fight for it. Thank you for being with us today, Michael. Thank you, Ani. Nice to be here. Um, let's start with your job title. What is it and what does your job entail? I am a special agent with the U.S. Department of Defense, and I work for a small agency within the Inspector General's Office called the Defense Criminal Investigative Service. Basically, our agency started about 30 years ago, um, and it was very focused on fraud, but since then we've branched out and it handles any kind of crime related to the Department of Defense or our men and women in uniform. Mm -hmm. I understand you've worked with the FBI on certain cases, and uh, what's the similarities between the two organizations or, or the differences? Well, there's a little bit of both. Uh, the FBI, as you know, is very big. Uh, they have probably 10 times the number of agents that we have worldwide and they handle their jurisdiction basically is is so wide they handle bank robberies major frauds terrorism they do everything under the sun mm -hmm. DCIS is a very focused and small agency that, that basically focuses on any crimes related to the Department of Defense and how did you find yourself working for the DCIS could you share a little bit of your background actually it was uh, it was total luck I um, was finishing up at UCLA in my senior year and had no idea what I was going to do for a living and uh, went to a nightclub of all things and ran into an old high school uh, friend and she happened to be working uh, for the Department of Defense and she vouched for me and I got a job. The rest is history. Oh. Um, how many agents are there and are they located domestically or internationally? We have about 400 agents nationwide. Um, they're located in offices from coast to coast and we also have offices in Germany, um, Kuwait, Afghanistan, Iraq, and we just opened an office in South Korea. Oh. Um, what are some qualifications required for your position? Well, there's nothing really stated as far as qualifications. There are some minimum requirements that you have to have. You have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to be under the age of 37 when you apply. And uh, you should have a bachelor's degree at least, but it's not absolutely mandatory. Anything that anyone can do to better their chances or prepare for a position like yours? Um, a lot of our people come from the military directly, mostly officers. Uh, we do get a lot of people whose parents served in our agency and basically they got word of mouth, that old nepotism. <laughs> uh, but it's a very sought after job. It's uh, very rewarding and very actually well paying as well for a government job. <laughs> And I don't want you to break any confidentiality clauses or go into classified information, but are, are there any interesting cases or a favorite of yours that you'd like to share with us? Well, I've been around for 15 years, and I've worked 100 to 150 investigations uh, front to back, and I, I've had a lot of interesting cases, but they're so complex I don't want to get into them. But uh, I could say that I've put uh, a lot of people in federal prison, which is basically what I do, and that gives me a lot of gratification, um, protecting those men and women in uniform. Mm -hmm. and, and your family, are they ever exposed to your job? Uh, I did have uh, notions of my daughter, who's now 20, uh, following in my footsteps. I could have steered her in that direction if she desired that, but she chose another path, which is fine, but I... Uh, I, uh, I have shared my job with her in different ways. It's kind of stupid, but I did take her on some trash runs, and if you don't know what those are, we actually uh, can go into people's trash cans and get some pretty damning evidence that we can use against them in court, and I did take her a few times, and she said she liked it. Uh, I remember one instance where we actually were in a dumpster, she was, and I was holding a flashlight, and, she, and we look up, and there's a local helicopter from the police department with their spotlight looking down on us. So wow. we, that was pretty exciting. For her, I think. <laughs> so I guess a position like yours could show up on dirty jobs one day. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could. <laughs> um, so any um, information or future plans for your position? Well, we, uh, like I said, we have offices located overseas. Mm -hmm. I'm now contemplating maybe going to our office in Afghanistan where we have agents serving six-month tours over there. Wow. And uh, I'm still kind of mulling it over, but I might do that. Does, is that a decision that needs to be made soon? 
Well, we have rotations all the time and we're running out of volunteers. So they're kind of coming to us older folks and saying, hey, it, it's kind of your turn now because a lot of the younger folks have already gone. Mm. So uh, I think it, it probably is something that I should do, serve okay. my country over there. Is there um, any words of advice that you'd like to give someone who'd like to follow in your footsteps? Well, I personally think this is a great job. It pays very well. It's, uh, if you like the chase and you like putting bad guys in jail, I highly recommend it. And obviously with a government job, it comes with great benefits and great retirement. Great. Um, so if someone were to come to you for career advice and they're in college, uh, what advice could you give them? To come into this career? Mm -hmm. uh, finish school. Uh, if most of the people that are now vying for these jobs have master's degrees and PhDs. Wow. When I came on board, uh, bachelor's was enough, but uh, I think the word is out and people seek these jobs out and it's very difficult to get in. So stay in school mm -hmm. and like I said, if you like serving your country and, and you respect the military, uh, it's a very, very good place to go. Great. Well, thank you very much. It looks like we're out of time. so. We appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we will see you next time on South Coast Focus. I'm Anya Lee. Good night, Saddleback. Thank you. Thank you. We run a ground like ships over these beats I flip. The bass is hitting so hard that you'll see these skits. Well, check it out. Make sure it doesn't happen again. I got my grip on it. So turn it up to volume 10. Volume 10? Like that brother from L.A., Lord Radio.